mites. It will control varroa mites to a point of about 70 percent yes, only, yes. between 70 and 98 percent. It's so variable that that's the problem with it. And if I treat with it in Florida, it works totally different than it will in a dry. If you went to the northern part of Georgia, where it, it's a constant humidity or fairly good humidity, you'll get probably a lot better treatment than we do in Florida. Our last program we just worked on, which we just ended in November, uh, the person came down from Canada, and it's the third test I've worked with him. He said, this time this formic's going to work great down here. He says, we just did test in Hawaii, and they've done some tests out on an island. They've done some other areas. They said, Hawaii and Florida have virtually the same humidity, same temperature, same honeybees. We should work out fine. Well, our last test, Jamie and us finished up, and to be truthful, it did kill varroa mites. It did kill honeybees, but uh, you know we like to have honeybees left over after our treatment. Uh, it, it hurt the bees pretty bad. Our low dose, we actually did it on two different standards. We were looking at nukes or smaller colonies and strong colonies. With formic acid, because it's an irritant to us and to the bee, as soon as you even put a low dose in, you'll get the buzzing, roaring of the bees, which in a low dose isn't so bad. When you put something at about 50% and above formic acid, you drop it in there, it'll pad, a gel, whatever agent you're using, the bees leave the hive. They're taking the mites out. If you think of a honeybee and where your mites are at, 80%, 70 to 80% of your mites are in the brood. So if the bees go out the front of the hive and they're out there rubbing around, getting everything off that they can, they get rid of the 20 to 30% of mites that are on there. You will see a drop on sticky boards and everything when you do a blast treatment. Uh, the bees normally go back in once the fumes are down and then the mites hatch back out. If you're not keeping a treatment in there, the blast treatment doesn't really work as well as it should. It does get rid of those mites that are there. So uh, where you're using a low dose for a long period of time, that's very corrosive on nails, uh, your frames, your wax, everything. Well, your wax, it doesn't hurt. Your honey, it doesn't hurt that bad because formic is a natural product that is in honey. So, but I'm not saying go out there and treat your bees with your honey on because you don't want to add formic to your hives. Uh, all in all, formic acids, pros and cons. If you look at the pros on it, it's cheap. Uh, it works on varroa mites, tracheal mites. It works on funguses and some viruses, it seems like, in the hive. It helps clean the inside of the hive. Uh, it causes the bees to groom more. Those are your pros. Your cons, when you start to weigh the cons on it, you look at the corrosive ability, the handling. You've got to be very careful at using formic. Uh, it is caustic to us. It actually will do all sorts of burning and everything on you. You breathe it in, it wears out your lungs. Uh, I hear you, Bill. Yeah. <laughs> I don't okay. hear anything. Uh, uh, some of the other cons well, on it are it's hard on the honeybees at a high dose of 50% formic to water or whatever you want to use it at. Uh, the formic will also hurt the exoskeleton of the honeybee. And you look at it, does that make that honeybee not susceptible to other viruses or other pests? But it did get rid of the tracheal mites too, so it's good. Uh, it's harmful in high doses to the eggs, larva, and fruit. So, uh, am I saying not to use formic? No, formic, if used correctly, can control or be used as a tool in what we call the integrated pest management. Because it doesn't kill 98% like apistan or check might used to do, it can be used as a tool. If you use it with screen bottom boards, which sounds sort of weird because you've got to use the screen bottom boards, you've got to cover them, 
to get a good control, or you've got to use a blast treatment that is knocking the mites off the bees, about like you do powdered sugar where you sprinkle it over the top, and the mites fall through. Because the bees don't normally leave as fast out of a screen bottom board hive, the mites will drop off and go through the screen bottom board. But then the treatment's only for about 24 hours. There's some other treatments that have been used at a low dose, like 40, 45% formic, using some other essential oils. Jim Amarine, Dr. Amarine came up with them. Those worked real good on brand new combs. When you started using dark combs, you know, old broom combs, they didn't work as good. So we got wondering there was that the reaction or the ability for that uh, formic to migrate through the combs better or through the cappings. We don't know, but he could actually control varroa mites in the seal brood, not damaging the brood as bad, but he was mixing it with a uh, honeybee healthy, it's called. And uh, that was a product Day Dance sells all the man lakes, all of them sell it now. But formic acid, if used right, you can control some of the mites. So, uh, I'm not here to tell y'all how to use it because I'm not sure it's legal in Georgia, is it? No. We, we won't issue for Section 18. Section 18. And, and in what form, though? In, uh, in the liquid form. Liquid form for y'all to mix yourself to do not. And we're also pushing for an educational program, program yeah. from the University of Georgia. That's the best thing to get. University of Georgia or whoever you get that is trained in using Formic to train all the beekeepers because if you take 200 beekeepers that use formic acid and put them all into a room, there's 200 different ways to use them. They will, it's amazing what beekeepers do. We're all farmers and stuff with formic acid, how they treat with it. And most of them, they've never been trained on, first of all, checking for the rural mites to make sure you need to treat. Second of all, seeing if you're getting the treatment when you use it. We've got beekeepers that have done all sorts of stuff with formic. And luckily, so far, we haven't had any of them reporting, you know, bad accidents. So, uh, the main ones that we've tested so far have all been where they're in pads already, instead of you having to mix them. Uh, normally, that's because with state agencies, when we test a product, we normally have to have it already in, so you can take the strip and put it in. Formic acid, I've tested gel packs, I've tested liquid itself back when Shimanuk and them were doing it. That's been almost 18 years ago. The gel packs, the pre-mixed uh, boards, they're like, uh, matter of fact, they're almost identical to this roofing tile. But the thing is, if you use a roofing tile like that, it does not release at a controlled uh, time where the product the person can come up with out of Canada he had come up with it. It's like Oasis, the stuff that you put uh, osmic, 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 whatever, flowers in. Uh, he had it specially designed so it would release at a certain uh, dose, which was like 15 milliliters per day. Uh, trouble was, every time he came down to Florida to test it, what it would work in uh, the northern part of Canada, it wouldn't work in Florida and release at a different rate. And that's your humidity. So that's what you've always got to check. Any questions on formic or royal mites or anything like that? No. Is all, is all formic is it the same percentage pure? Or? No, no. You can actually get all sorts of. That's another problem. And I should have thrown that as a con too. Uh, the problem with formic also, you can buy a technical grade, which is 98.9% or 99%, which has no heavy metals in it. Uh, it's pure formic virtually. Or you can buy down to 60%, which it may have whatever they used besides water. What most of the beekeepers that I've heard of that are mixing and doing their formic, they're buying the high grade formic and then they add the water to it or add the formic, you know. Uh, just remember with formic or anything like that, go back to chemistry, it's like you don't add the swimming pool to the uh, Acid, you add the acid to the swimming pool. Otherwise, is only doing a better job than the other types of treatment, per se, type pigs, maverick, 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 maverick. All of them have their problems. Uh, 
main one, your hard chemicals that you're talking about, your Maverick, all of those, which are your old apostans, the organophosphates, those mites become resistant to. Uh, with the oxalic acid, formic acid, lactic acid, all these other, your organic acids, in order for that mite to get build a resistance to it, it's got to actually change something of its exoskeleton. And the mechanism, they're really not positive what the formic acid, is it the irritant that's causing the mite to drop off, or is it actually killing the varroa mite because it's causing a deterioration of its exoskeleton or the chitin, uh, same as our fingernails almost. So if you think of that part, then formic acid would attack you know, the honeybees next 